Hey guys, it's Anna, and welcome to my channel. Today, I'm gonna be reviewing Supers fragrances. I've been seeing this brand floating around, and when they reached out to me asking if I wanted to try their fragrances, I placed a fat order on Scent Split to sample a bunch. There were four that stood out to me, and then I blindly chose five that were not available to sample on scent split based off of the note breakdown and reviews that i've seen or heard so if you're curious about my thoughts here they are let's start with this one because it's absolutely the one i've heard the most about this is memories gold this is a rich very ambery dark vanilla gourmand perfectly unisex Amber and vanilla is absolutely what I get the most. Labdanum is giving it this spiciness. It's got a woody base. And then you've got these sweet notes that I perceive to be like a dark, honey, caramel tonka bean. This is, and I cannot express to you enough, an extremely strong scent. I am an oversprayer. I will die if I overspray this. This is so strong that this is a scent that I strictly spray on, like not near my nose. It's something that I'm spraying like down here and lightly, like two sprays, I'm good. It's a fantastic scent, but it can become quickly overwhelming if you overdo it. This really came to be an unexpected scent for me because listening to reviews, I was hearing this is an amazing gourmand. This is like one of the best vanilla scents and it is gourmand, it is vanilla, but I'm here to stress to you how prominent that ambery quality is. It really has a darkness to it, a richness. This is very strictly for me, at least, a winter fragrance. Don't expect this to be like sugary, sweet, caramel vanilla in the way something like Bianca Latte is done because it's spicy, warm, woody, ambery as well. But it is very good and I can see why so many people are enjoying it. Then we have Aura. I would rank this as all right. It smells pleasant, but it just isn't do anything for me. Eric said he liked it though. It's got a fresh fruitiness, not in a realistic or juicy kind of way, more like a black currant, blackberry, kids shampoo kind of way. Just that particular accord, not, not the whole fragrance. It's got fresh woody notes. It's not anything too deep or too earthy. It's definitely not a challenging fragrance. And then there's some supporting jasmine musk pink pepper. So it's a little woody, little floral, clean musk with some shampooy fruits. And then this is the other absolutely nuclear bomb from the lineup. This is Hamzat Smesh. This one has also gotten a lot of attention and I think it's an amazing masculine fragrance. There is a resemblance to Parfum de Marly Kalan in the opening, but this is much better in my opinion. That was just too much for both Eric and I. I think this is blended and balanced in a much nicer way. It's aromatic, spicy, you get the blood orange and woody notes. After five minutes, this beautiful, attractive sweetness comes through from the vanilla and tonka bean, and it's so enticing. Like that is my favorite part of this fragrance. This addictive character lingering behind these masculine, dark, spicy, woody, aromatic notes. And it's got this warm resinous feel from the amber, very complex scent. And I think we'll absolutely get you attention. I think this makes a great special occasion fragrance or something for a date in the fall and winter. Next up is Secret Desire. This unfortunately was a miss for me. It smells like straight up baby powder with a mature rose and supporting violet and musk. Next we have Queen of Chambord. I love this. It is very similar to Latafa Nebras. Comparing the two, this is louder on the berries. It's got coconut. There's more of a soft powdery floral background and it's a touch brighter. So I love this, but you don't need to have both in your collection. It would be redundant, I think. So if you're interested in this profile, I would just go for whatever perfume has the prominent notes that you gravitate towards more. And if you haven't smelled Nebras, 
Nebras and you don't have that reference point, I'll give you my description. This is a beautiful vanilla perfume prominently. It's a very powdery vanilla perfume. It's got this fluffy musk tart red berries. And like I said, this one has got a coconut in the mix. It has this really cozy warmth to it. All in all, this is a very crowd-pleasing, mass-appealing scent. A lot of people enjoy this profile. Then we have Coco Loco. This was unfortunately a disappointment for me. I thought it was okay. The majority of Super's fragrances have amazing performance. This one does sit close to the skin. It's definitely more soft. It's powdery coconut and vanilla with a jasmine and fruity background. The fruits are more quiet, but I do get wafts of that quality in the air as I wear it. Traditionally, I love these notes, but this one doesn't evoke any sort of emotion from me. I just found it kind of plain and how the coconut is done comes off waxy to me like a bit synthetic then we have colors this was a big like for me it's just a little bit too sweet for me but it is it is a good perfume I don't know if it's just me might be but to me this smells like a cousin to Victor and Rolf flower bomb. They're both candied floral, super girly, sugary, sweet, warm patchoulis. They share jasmine, vanilla, and patchouli. This is a more fruity take, definitely, with a prominent peach. This one also comes across warmer. It's got a warm caramel, some cinnamon, and pepper to give it some background spiciness. So to me, it smells like a spiced peach dessert with an underlying flower bomb DNA. Next up, Gentleman. This is an elegant, kind of posh fragrance. It's powdery, you get this very smooth tobacco, a background of woods and a soft vanilla and tonka bean adding a delicate amount of sweetness to this. I loved this the first time I wore it, so much so that I'm like, <laughs> I'm gonna smell like a freaking gentleman, okay? Cause I'm gonna wear it too. But when I went to wear it a second time, there are woody notes listed and I would assume that there is oud in the mix because I can pick up on a bit of a background animalic quality. I do think it's a beautiful, very smooth fragrance. It's just that specific quality that I personally can't jive with. But if you like a little bit of, you know, in your, in your, in your sense, then, check it out. And then I'll end it with one that I loved. This is Feel. Perfectly unisex fragrance. It's quite elegant, I think. It has a bit of this sweetened lipstick accord from the combo of iris and vanilla. Violet is in the mix as well, but that's softer where iris takes center stage. And there's just a little bit of what smells like chocolate powder to me. I get like whiffs of that in the air like as I turn. So it's not a consistent note for me, but it's a fun little bit that I pick up here and there. And it's got this beautiful, sophisticated depth, but it's not too dark whatsoever. There's a smooth sandalwood, some green earthy notes, and pink pepper to ground it. This is a very delicate, fresh approach to these earthy notes, and I love the elegant character that comes through because of this powderiness. And then you just have a little bit of gourmand elements sprinkled in. And that concludes my review. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope it was helpful. And make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, if you want to see me in any more videos. I'd appreciate it so, so much. I hope you guys are having a great day and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.